Welcome to Final Cut Pro 10 in under five minutes. I'm Steve from RippleTraining.com. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to build a dramatic title effect by filling the text with video, photos, graphics, or anything else you can imagine. As you're about to see, there are only a few steps that if you're coming from a track-based editor like Final Cut Pro 7 or Premiere, you'll wanna pay close attention. I need a cool opening title for this promo video Mark Spencer and I shot for a Napa Valley winery. With the playhead directly over the clip, press X to create a selection range that matches the clip's duration. To add a basic title, press Ctrl T. The basic title clip is connected above the clip and its duration is constrained to the selection range. Now edit the text by double clicking the title. I'll type out Napa, then press Command 4 to open the inspector. Click the text button to change the font and other properties. When choosing a font, I recommend choosing a bold font so the video will clearly be seen inside the letters. This font called Headline A will work just fine. Make the font as large as you like. For this shot, I want the type to fill the frame. You'll discover that the size slider will only get you so far, so if you really need Mondo size text, you'll need to drag directly on the input field. I'll drag upward until the text is roughly 1000 points. Next, I'll reposition the title to center it in the frame. While I like the size, I want to stretch the text vertically to fill the top and bottom of the frame. Press Escape, then press Shift T to enable the transform controls. With the Option key held down, I'll drag on the top and bottom control handles to achieve the look I'm after. Click Done once you're finished with your adjustments. To get the video to appear inside the letters, click the Video button, then from the Blend Mode pop-up in the Compositing section, choose Stencil Alpha. If you need to make adjustments to the placement and or scale of the video or still image, select the clip, press Shift T, and use the on-screen controls to reframe the image any way you like. While we're here, I should point out that we're working with a photo, but what I'm demonstrating works equally well with video. Since this is a still image, I want to give this photo some movement. From the Transform pop-up, I'll choose Crop, then click the Ken Burns button. To preview the effect, I'll click the Playback Loop button. If you want to know more about the Ken Burns effect, watch Episode 1, Ken Burns on Steroids. While you may be perfectly satisfied with this title, you may want to take it one step further by placing another video clip behind the text as a background. Select the video or still clip in the primary storyline, then press X to set a range. Press Command 5 to open the media browser, then click the Generators button. I like this paper background, so I'll select it, then press Q to connect it above the title. Select the generator, then in the inspector choose Behind from the Blend Mode pop-up. Even though the generator is at the top of the stacking order in the timeline, using Behind will ensure that the clip will appear as the background in the image processing order. To change the look of the background, click the Generators button, then choose a paper type from the pop-up. I'll preview a few of these so you can see how they look with the video filled text. Click the subscribe button below. If you have an idea, comment, or suggestions, leave those below as well. Go to rippletraining.com for fast professional training on Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, DaVinci Resolve from industry professionals.